Hi all, I just wanted to share with you uh, a test run I did of a new product put out by MRC. It's their uh, MRC uh, Wi-Fi uh, interface for the Prodigy Advance. I believe it's their uh, Prodigy Wi-Fi interface. A uh, real simple product, real simple product. It just consists of a Wi-Fi transmitter receiver and it literally uh, hooks to their um, cab bus just through a regular uh, RJ connector. So it's a real simple device to install. Um, let's take a look at wiring it. wiring for the thing is stupid simple. You just simply uh, plug the uh, RJ connector in on one end and on the other end you have your standard MRC uh, bus throttle connections along with your other throttle. So it just acts like another throttle. The difference is this thing will be able to handle up to eight handheld uh, the smartphone devices. So uh, for one MRC cab address you actually get eight functions. The other thing that's kind of cool about it is that the uh, the thing is entirely standalone. You don't have to have a PC. I know the Y throttle um, you can run it through JMR. Don't need it here. It just simply uh, operates through the, uh, the cab bus. Setup of this thing was uh, just as easy. It was really straightforward. Um, you just open up your different applications. You have a choice of either downloading the Y throttle light or the Y throttle. Again, this is for the Apple version. The, the um, Android versions are similar. Uh, the Y throttle light uh, basically allows you to uh, get a free download. It doesn't uh, cost you anything. The Y throttle, the full version, gives you a um, gives you a couple more features, and we'll talk about that. So, um, how do we set this thing up? Well, right now it shows there use no server and configure it. Well, to get the server, you simply go to settings, and you look for your um, Wi-Fi. And if you look for the particular Wi-Fi system that you uh, want to hook to is, of course, the MRC system. So you see there's MRC Wi-Fi. So now I've made that my Wi-Fi system that I've connected to. Now if I go back to the application, um, well, it's already went and automatically set it up. It already had figured it out. Uh, when I set this up previously, you go to the MRC module settings and you can see that it, it sets it up. Um, Cab number nine, I have eight other cabs on my layout, so that was pretty easy to set up. I got one user, that would be me right now, I detected that. Module settings, here's where you set up your cab number. Track power toggling allowed, in other words, you can shut off the power to the layout if you wanted to. Accessory control allowed. Fast clock not shown. And time until e-stop disconnect. So these are some of the setups. Uh, and it's again, once you set it up the first time, it automatically, and I don't know if you noticed that, but it automatically connected in. So pretty powerful. So we can go back to the uh, uh, Y throttle app here. Let me go back to that. Track power you can turn off and on. You got some different choices of throttle type. You can do road, you can do a yard version, you can do twin throttle so you can actually run two trains at the same time. Throttle sensitivity is how much the uh, the actual slide throttle is uh, going to actually speed up or slow down. Different ways of looking at the uh, at the at the throttle. By the way, this is um, all inside the Y throttle app. This isn't really part of the MRC thing. Anyway, once you get this all set up, you can go to your locomotive. Okay, here we are at the Warm Springs yard. We're going to go ahead and just uh, pick up one of these locomotives with the the Wi-Fi throttle. Um, to set one up, you just click on uh, address 622. We're going to pick this locomotive right here so it matches. Say set. Light turn green on this, so that means we're connected. If you look on the bottom here, you can see that this is where we select the address, but then I touch over here, and now I have uh, kind of a throttle display, right? So I can turn on the light, I can ring the bell. Can blow the horn. Okay, and then uh, direction. So I don't want to go forward, obviously. So I'm going to touch reverse here, and I can slide the slider up. Okay. 
So by the way, I have a lot of momentum programmed into these locomotives, so you're seeing a little bit of a delay on the response change direction. There you go. Pretty neat. Now if I uh, wanted to, if I'm all done with this, oh well let me back up here. There's a couple neat features on the Y throttle. Change direction again. If you don't want to use the slider, if you just touch in the upper half of the of the slider bar up here, it acts like an incremental. Same with the lower half. If I just touch up and down, it'll it'll increment that one touch per step. If I want to get to more functions, I got all kinds of places where I can add additional functions. I can get all the way through to the different sounds like the brakes. Pretty easy to get to. Now with the uh, full version, not the light version, if I slide over one further I can access the turnout controls and I actually can go ahead and start switching turnouts through my handheld. Pretty cool too. And while we're here, there's this cool little button down here. It's a, it's a light. It's like a little work light. So it lights it up and I see I can light up if I'm working on a night op session or working closely with some locomotives I can light them up. Pretty neat. Turn it off. Kind of a nice feature. When I'm all done I can go ahead and then uh, release the locomotive. Now I've lost control of that particular one. You do have to release it. A little bit different for the MRC system. But then I can go ahead and pick on another locomotive like one of those back there. Um, what is that one? 1383. So I go entry one three eight three set and I go to the throttle itself and I can blow the horn. I'm gonna make him back up just a little bit. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now uh for MUing, this actually lets you, the advanced version lets you do consisting of two locomotives. So if I wanted to consist 1383 and 622 together, I could say add. I got 1383 right now. It asks you relative direction. I'm going to put it in reverse because the head end of this one is a different direction than that one. So I'm going to add 622 and then say add. Reverse. All right. So now notice the display says 1383 plus 1. I go back to my throttle and well, I got the directions reversed, but you get the idea. So this is a good way if you have helper operations If you have helper operations, you can see how if you got them speed match, this will work out really well. Anyway, that's what you got in the uh, the new Wi-Fi Connect. That lets you run your railroad. What a neat way to avoid having to buy a bunch more throttles. If you if you have friends over, they can just download the the free version. And um, yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and release these guys. We're all done here. Happy trails. Bye.